Hello everyone. In this example, we'll learn how to use the scanf function to get, you know, from the user as an input of two integers and then we'll add those integers to get the summation value. So in code block plus, uh, I'll open this file which I already have written. Uh, let me first explain what this program is doing, then we'll build it and run it, okay? So as you can see, this portion is a comment portion. And as usual, you know, we are including the stdr.h because we are using scanf and printf. Remember, both the printf and scanf are part of this .h file, stdr.h file. And as you know that C program runs and starts with main functions, we have to declare the main function like this, then the opening of the main function. And then we are declaring three variables, okay? So number one, number two, and then sum. Then we are printing, enter the first number, it will be printed into a computer screen. And then we are scanning the number one. So see the syntax of the scanf function. So since it's an integer, num1 is an integer data type. So that's why we are using percent %d. And then ampersand, remember, don't forget to use the ampersand when using scanf function. So ampersand sign gives the address of number one and whatever the value that you enter through keyboard that gets stored into number one, num one variable, okay? In this line number 13, we are printing enter the second number and then again we are scanning the num two here, okay? Using the same method, but here the variable name is different. And then what we are doing, sum is equal to num one plus num two so this is where the addition operation is doing and then the value of the addition operation is assigned to variable sum, okay? And then we are printing the summation value like this. Now just notice over here, this percentage D will be substituted by the variable value sum. And this is, since sum is an integer, so that is why we are using percent D. If sum would have been a float, then we would have used percent F. And to complete, the program we are returning zero. So that is the normal uh, instructions that we write. So let's build it, let's see. So there is no errors, it's good to go. So now, now let's run it, what is happening? Okay, so enter the first number. So let me enter the first number which is 10, okay? So enter the second number, let me enter 20. As you can see here, you know the sum is 30, which is correct. 10 plus 20 is 30. Right? So our program is working fine. So let's take another example. So if I write 25, enter the second number, let's say 35. So sum is 60 now, so which is correct. So let's take an, you know, look into how this program is actually working. Okay? So in this particular, you know, line, line number 8, you know, what it is doing is, you are declaring three variables. So as soon as you declare three variables in the memory location, three memory blocks are got assigned. So this is our num1, this is our num2, this is our sum. Since, you know, there is no value assigned to it, so this can have any value which will look into our next example number seven. Okay, but for time being, just think about this is either an empty or a garbage value location. It can, there will be some value, but the value can be anything. We don't, we cannot predict what the value is. That is why it is called garbage value. Now, the, after this printf statement, we are scanning the value of the num1. So let's say we, we have entered 10, you know, through our keyboard. So as soon as we enter num value 10, so number 1 gets value 10. So after this printf statement, again, we are scanning the value of num2. So as soon as we enter a value 20, what happens in the memory location? The 20 gets stored into that particular num2 variable memory location. Now in this statement number 16, what is doing is num1 plus num2. So that means this 10 plus 20 will be added. The summation value will be assigned to sum. So 10 plus 20 is 30, we know. You know, so the result 30 will be assigned to this particular sum location. Okay, so this will be having 30. Now, since we are printing the summation 
value is percent d sum so the value from this sum location will be printed over here that is why you will see 30 so this is how the computer works this explanation i hope that will help you to understand how the computer actually executing the program step by step and what is happening inside the memory thank you for watching